The last time I attended a con, it was a pre-COVID world. The floor was packed shoulder to shoulder with pedestrians. Now, a Boba Fett helmet counts as a life-saving mask. I was reluctant to go to any cons throughout most of my life fearing it would turn me into the comic book guy from The Simpsons. The worst movie ever! Two cons and 65 pounds later, I'm attending the final Wizard World Chicago conference within its 25 year lifespan. After going to my first convention in 2018 C2E2, I was overwhelmed by the welcoming fun atmosphere that was far beyond my initial perception of such events. Being the only con outside of C2E2 that I've ever attended, Wizard World is, from my perception, the same concept but on a minuscule level. Living in a COVID world makes such a modest event even smaller. The long stretched hallways from the Donald E. Stevens Center are eerily empty. After spending a year without a vaccine, those empty hallways don't quite to be so barren to the naked eye. The fascinating thing about going to Wizard World is the sense of people doing whatever they can to enjoy the moment in front of them. We shouldn't be in an event still wearing masks, but here we are. The exhibit is like a three day long Halloween. The cosplay is almost endlessly entertaining. I wanted to stop almost every single person in costume I walked across for a picture, and I almost did. Oh my God, that is amazing. Speaking of which, I never attended an actual cosplay competition at the last two cons I went to. Anyone who says straight white men don't have feminine leanings doesn't understand the concept of fashion. Why do you think most guys love Star Wars? Because those costumes are slick. Boba Fett is famous because he looks smooth, but rough at the same time. You can go with classic Boba, glam Boba, Mando Season 2 Boba, Better yet, why not mix it up and go as the Scream Killer if he were a Sith? The amount of effort that goes into these costumes is just incredible. I love my toys. If Toys R Us were still around, I'd take my non-existent kids there any chance I would get. Wizard World is honestly just another excuse for me to go toy shopping. But I can't just pick up any toy. I'd love to grab a piece of nostalgia. And I came close to buying that Kingpin action figure. There were enough Terminator 2, retro Star Wars action figures, movie accurate weapons. Okay, I did buy a movie accurate weapon after I accidentally dropped it. My ultimate purchase came down to a Turbo Man doll. But not just any Turbo Man doll, an authentic one from when Jingle All The Way initially came out. My spending spree didn't end there. I got a Nazi exploitation DVD from Channel Awesome plus an autographed picture with a T-1000 himself, Robert Patrick. Most panels were conducted on a live stage in the middle of the showroom floor. I'll never forgive myself for missing William Shatner's return from space interview that was held at Wizard World. Maybe I chose the wrong side being a Star Wars fan after all. One of the reasons to go to a show like this would be the panels, but there is no real knockout shows to attend However, I completely understand that. The place booked who it could get because we're in the midst of a world ravaged with tragedy. Yet, we still smile. I've learned the meaning of smiling with our eyes since 2020. We're still in pain, but we'll have fun or go completely insane if we don't. That's possibly why we enjoy these cons. Dressing up as a killer clown or Nightmare Batman, adults get to feel like children again by expressing themselves through fashion. I'm interested to see what Wizard World is like in its total capacity. When that time comes under its new name, I'd be happy to see what it has to offer. Meanwhile, I'll see what C2E2 is like with this continuous strange world that we live in.